What's up, family? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, Mr. Watwat. Today, today, today. Hey, yo, skirt, skirt, man. Check this out. Yo, we got a video today. It's called Ami Did That Man Explains What Is the Real Torah and Angela. Oh, we about to get into it now. Remember, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and join the Watwat family. We are literally the littest family on YouTube, and that's a fact. And also, before we get started, started, put a like on this video. Remember, if you got a video you want me to react to, get down in the comment section. Let me know, and I will get to it, man. Let's go ahead and get into this reaction, man. Welcome for people. Muslims, even learned Muslims, they really do not know what the Bible is. I have been lecturing in the Middle East, in Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Bahrain. And at times, those of our brethren there in the Middle East, they would like to have my lectures translated. So, and I hear the translator translating the subject that I have been speaking on, for example, what the Bible says about Muhammad. So the translator says, what the Torah, you know, I can understand, I can't speak Arabic, but when the man is translating, I can understand, he's saying, what the Torah says about Muhammad. So I interrupt the man, I say, I didn't say Torah. So he corrects himself. He says, what the Injil in Arabic is saying, what the Injil says about Muhammad. I said, I did say Injil. I said, what the Bible? Bible means a book. It comes from the Greek word Biblos. Biblos means a book, from which they get the word Bible. Holy Bible means holy book. Translate that, holy book. Instead of saying Torah, Zabur, Injil. So what is happening is that the Muslim gets caught out before he starts by admitting that this is Torah or Zabur or Injil. The Bible is not the Torah, it's not the Zabur, it's not the Injil. Now what we believe in is, we believe in four heavenly books. And we name them, we say, we believe in the Torah, we believe in the Zabur, we believe in the Injil, and we believe in the Furqan. Furqan is the Holy Quran. Okay. Now what is Torah? Torah is the revelation, the wahi, that Allah gave to Hazrat Musa That is the Torah. We believe that Hazrat Musa was a man appointed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty. And whatever instructions were given through him is the Torah. Whatever. Was it given in a book form? No, Allah gave by word form, wahi. Zabur, Zabur is the revelation, the wahi that Allah gave to Hazrat Dawud We believe that what was given was from Allah. The Injil, the Injil is the revelation, the wahi that Allah gave to Hazrat Isa salam, Jesus Christ. So whatever he preached was from Allah. We acknowledge it was the truth. But where is now the Torah, the Zabur and the Injil? Where are they? The New Testament, it begins. Mm -hmm. Every book, new book begins. Matthew, it says, the gospel according to Saint Matthew, the gospel according to Saint Mark, the gospel according to Saint Luke, the gospel according to Saint John. I'm asking, what is according, according, according? Why according to, according to, according to? I write little books as well, you know. But you'll find my name there, by Ahmad Didat. It's not according to Ahmad Didat. If you wrote it, Thinking that I had said or I meant such and such a thing, then you can say, according to Mr. Didat, you know, this is his theory, or this is what he said. It might not be true. You might have misunderstood. But if I write a book, I put my name. Matthew didn't write his name. Mark didn't write his name. Luke didn't write his name. John didn't write his name. These are anonymous books. And you think, well, maybe, you know, this count can only come from Mr. Didat, so you put Didat's name. This can only come from Brother Farah Khan, so you put his name. This can only come from Brother Waris Muhammad, so you put his name. You have no right to do that. Nobody has a right to do that. You are doing injustice to the man. If he hadn't said that, you might not be quoting exact. So, according to Matthew, according to Mark, according to Luke, according to St. John. And internal evidence shows that all said that they didn't write the book. This is what you see from the outside, on the heading. They put, the Christians put the heading. And the Bible tells us, this Bible, it tells us, Matthew tells us that 
Jesus went to a certain place and he preached the gospel in Arabic in G. Gospel means a good news. Translated into Arabic, Injil. He went and preached the Injil. Mark says he went to a certain other place and he preached the Injil. Gospel. Luke tells us that he went to a certain place and he preached the Injil. Gospel. Injil. And John tells us that Jesus went to a certain other place and he preached the Gospel. Injil. I'm asking, did he carry a book around under his arm? Under his... Huh? Did he? Injil. That he, every time he took it out? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Is that what he was doing? No. Whatever revelation Wahi Allah gave him, that is the Injil. Now they tell you, the Christians themselves, you don't have to do any homework with regards to the Bible. You don't have to make any new discoveries. Whatever they gave you, learn from them and use it. They tell you now, they translate the Bible, the New Testament, into Arabic. They have for the Arabs 11 different Arabic Bibles. I have samples of them. Eleven different. I thought there was only one Arabic language. But I'm now told that there are eleven different dialects. And every dialect group is says, look, we got it for you. You are Palestinian, we got it for you. What are you? Moroccan, we got it for you. Tunisian, we got it for you. Southern Sudan, we got it for you. What are you? Syrian, we got it for you. Eleven different Bibles for the Arabs alone. In Arabic, different dialects. So the Arabic translation, the book begins. It says, Injile Matthew, Injile Marcus, Injile Lucas, Injile Yohanna. So, right, right, we accept. You say Injile, Matthew, Marcus, Lucas, Johanna. Okay. I said, where is Injile Isa? <laughs> Look, we believe. What did we say? We said we believe in the Injil. When we say Injil, it is a revelation, the Wahi given to Hazrat Isa. That is what we believe. Not one given, to, if at all. If given to Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Who are they? Who is Paul, Peter and James? Who are they? We are made to accept the Wahi Allah gave to Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. Injile Isa. Bring it. And we will give it a sympathetic consideration. If it is from Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. But these are not the works of Isa alayhi salam. Can you see? Look, they are telling you. Why must you go out of your way and say, this is the Torah, this is the Injil, this is the Zabur, and you get caught up with it? No, it's lack of knowledge. Now, all this information is available very freely. In a book called, Is the Bible God's Word? Published by me. We give it out free. I sent out 10,000 to your great country from, from South Africa. <coughs> Woo! Okay. Um, that's why Amin did that is the best. And when it comes to the best, he hits you with them hard facts. Now, Hold on, whoa. Wutwa family, remember, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and join the Wutwa family. And before you leave, put a like on this video. Now, what I mean, that was just saying is, why is everything according to? According to could be like, we think he said this, or we think he said that. So we're just going to put his name there. So according to, instead of saying by. Because when you say by, it means that this person wrote it, he put his name on it. Just like, if I wrote a book, the book would be called... Wutwa family, and I'm the author, so it would be Wutwa family by Mr. Wutwa. Or would it be Wutwa family according to Mr. Wutwa? Hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> Wutwa family, y'all hit me with a good one. That This one right here is good. Wow. I'm glad y'all put this in the uh, comment section because this one right here definitely 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 hit home now okay so let's go ahead and think about this if if everything that was written oh hold on before i get down to what i was about to say um uh, the other thing he said was why is there 11 different dialects for the um the bible being translated into arabic that right there I, it's not nothing i can answer because of course i'm not no scholar you know what i'm saying i'm just a regular person just trying to learn so any questions y'all have Definitely ask each other with our family or go ask somebody that has a lot more knowledge. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm just a regular person just like you, just trying to ask questions and learn. So, but if I have to go and give you my understanding, I'm thinking that when it comes to Arabic, the reason why there's so many is because when you think about it, if you speak Arabic in Saudi Arabia, I don't think it's the same kind of Arabic if you go to Morocco and speak. 
because there would be different kind of ways of saying it. It's just like here, like, like think about here. Okay, I'm going to just go off of what I know. I'm not going to just speak on something. Else. I'm going to go off of what I know. English, all right? I know English. Now, the way I speak, like, especially when I came over here to the West Coast, like, I have a very Southern accent, but I speak English. But when I came to the West Coast, they knew that I was from somewhere from the South because as soon as I started talking, it's English, but... I have a certain way I say things like with with um country people we like to take uh uh we like to take all our words we could take a whole paragraph and squish it together into really one sentence like we would take a whole bunch of words and put it together that's why we we talk with a slur sometimes and we talk it sounds like we're talking fast but we're really talking slow it's just we put so many words together so it's still English but it's like a, a twisted kind of English and same thing with up north if you go to like Jersey and DC oh and especially Baltimore oh my god the people that talk in Baltimore I gotta say it right Baltimore it's not Baltimore it's Baltimore you gotta say Baltimore but I'm gonna say it Baltimore but they say it is Baltimore if you go there over there to the north especially New York and start talking they have their own way of talking in English the same thing with the people in the south they got their own way even deeper in the south like a Louisiana Texas Florida huh man you thought you knew some some southern speaking if until you go down there you'll be un, you'll be confused like come again you know what I'm saying and it's just like um like okay with soda <clears throat> Depending where you are in the United States, they might call it pop. Or they might call it Coke. Um, hold on, pop. Oh man, I forgot the different words they, they call soda. It might be called soda, pop. Uh oh man, it's another word they call soda. But that's what I'm saying. So I'm thinking that's the reason why there's so many different dialects in Arabic, because like the way they might speak Arabic in Saudi Arabia, you might go to Morocco and their their uh, Arabic is different. You might go to Sudan and their Arabic is different. You might go to um, Shoot you might come to here to America and the people that speak Arabic they, they speak it a little different You might go to Canada the people in Canada might speak their Arabic a little different. So that's why I'm thinking that's why there's so many different dialects because after so many years of people migrating the language people have kind of created their own way of speaking in Arabic you know what I'm saying so there's like one man there's one way to say it but there's so many ways that people say it if that makes sense so I think that's the reason why there's so many dialects um, so yeah so it's just like if you have a book it's one it's one English way of saying something but I mean if you might bring it one way like tomato we say tomato some people say tomato but it still means the same thing, tomato. Some people say tomato. Some people say tomato. Some people say tomato. And it means that tomato, you know, the thing you slice to make a sandwich. Some people make it with steel, you know what I'm saying? So that's my thing. So now, but, but when I think about it, like, as far as, like, the, um, what you call it? Like, with the books, I mean, it does make sense because a lot of the things back then, you got to understand that a lot of the things back then was not written down in a book or it was not written down in stone so a lot of it was passed down word to word so I think that's the reason why a lot of things are saying according to so that could make sense you know so if you got a better explanation with Twa family please get down in the comment section man enlighten us you know teach us because we're all here together as a family to learn that's the whole main thing about this channel we're gonna have fun we're gonna get entertained we're gonna have fun but also we're gonna learn on this channel for real. Other than that, we'll talk family. Thank you so much for posting this video. This was good, man. Anytime you have something by Ami Didat, man, like like now, I'm, the way I say Ami Didat, that's probably not the right way to say, pronounce his name, but you know, it's just the way I say it. So, I don't know. so anyways, guys, I will see y'all tomorrow. Why? Because I post the videos every day. So please take care. Stay safe. What?